So in this next practice problem, guys, we have here y equals x cubed plus 2x plus 1 all over x squared plus 3. Now, yung first step natin, as we recall, first step is to simplify your function. Now, here, it's obvious na hindi na natin siya pwedeng simplify because no one will cancel out even if you factor out your numerator and the denominator. Now, yung second step natin, guys, is to write the formula to be used. So, it's obvious here that this is a quotient rule. So, you have here the derivative of u over v equals. So, you just copy the denominator v, differentiate your numerator u du minus you have u dv all over v squared. The third step natin guys is to identify all your elements of the formula. So ano ba yung u? You have this. So the u, ito yung u. And ano ba yung v? Then we identify all of this. What is du? What is dv? Then yung last step is to substitute na lang. So u is equal to, you have x cubed plus 2x plus 1. And we have your v as we have x squared plus 3. Then, let's find here du. So, okay na kasi to. v, u, para tayong du, we don't have dv also. So, du, the derivative of u here. So, using power formula. So, 3. So, that is x squared. Then, derivative of x, that is dx plus 2 derivative of x so dx plus derivative of 1 that is 0 and for dv we have derivative of v equals so we have power formula so 2x dx plus 0 derivative of 3 is 0 it's a constant now we all have the, those parameters u v du and dv third step guys is to substitute Substitute natin dun sa formula. So, we have dy equals, we have v du minus u dv all over v squared. Now, we substitute those values. So, we have here v, so that is x squared plus 3. And du, we have du here. du is 3x squared dx plus 2 dx so that is 3x squared so factor out natin plus 2 so dx minus you have u dv so u is you have x cubed plus 2x plus 1 so hindi ka siya so sa baba na lang guys so you have x cubed plus 2x plus 1 then, we have dv as, dv is 2x dx. So, all over, you have v squared. So, v squared, so v equals, that is x squared plus 3. So, squared. Then, we divide this, guys, both sides by dx. So, we have dy respect to x equals we have x squared plus 3 times 3x squared plus 2 minus you have here x cubed plus 2x plus 1 times 2x all over you have here x squared plus 3 squared so you have 3x squared times x squared so that is 3x raised to 4 so here plus 3x squared times 3 that is 9x squared plus 2 times x squared so that is 2x squared so 2 times 3 that is 6 so minus so 2x times x cubed so that is 2x raised to 4. So, negative times positive, so negative. So, 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. So, positive times negative, negative. So, 2x times 1, so 2x. All over, 
So you have x squared plus 3 squared. So we simplify. We have here 3x raised to 4 minus 2x raised to 4. So, so that is x raised to 4. So we have here 9x squared plus 2x squared. So that is 11 squared minus 4x squared. So that is 7x squared. So minus 2x. So that is... So simplifying guys, yung last step natin is to simplify. So dy with respect to x equals, we have x raised to 4 plus 7x squared minus 2x plus 6 all over. So you have x squared plus 3 squared. So yun ang answer natin guys. So how about using your calculator guys? Kasi in the board exam, you don't need to actually solve this in this very time-consuming way. So when you're dealing with functions only, because you need the formulas in order to solve applications of differential calculus, but when you're dealing with functions only, you can use your calculator. So yung process guys is reverse engineering siya. So you work from the answer. Now yung function natin guys is, so let's try solving this using your calculator. So yung given natin guys is y equals, you have x cubed plus 2x plus 1 all over you have x squared plus 3 now so let's go to our calculator here so in our calculator we have a differential so ito siya. so shift integral so we have here lalabas yan then you input your function here input natin siya guys so that is alpha x cubed so plus 2x plus 1 over now after na input natin guys is maglagay tayo ng value dito sa derivative nya so kahit ano guys any value as long as hindi siya mag 0 and hindi siya mag mat error let's say 1 na lang 1 so equals so you have here 0.75 so it means that if you substitute 1 here so using your calculator guys so at x is 1 your calculator says that it's 0 0.75. Now, if you substitute 1 to this, the answer also should be 0 0.75. Now, let's try to substitute 1 in our answer. So, don't tayo sa answer. So, alpha x raised to 4, input lang natin. Your plus 7 alpha x squared minus 2 alpha x plus 6 alpha x squared plus 3 now you press calc here so na input na natin yung answer then let's let's try if correct sya so let's click lang natin yung calc then kung ano yung sinabstitute natin here 1 then so 1 now we have here 3 fourths or 0.75 it means that ito yung answer guys tama sya because it satisfies our condition so in the board exam if you're given just functions, no need to solve for manually. So you just need to use your calculator. But you need to familiarize the formula for our applications. Guys, we are required to find y prime alright. So dy with respect to x. We have here cosine squared, so that is 2x plus sine 3x. Now, the formula natin guys for cosine, so that is the derivative of cosine u so that is negative sine u derivative of u and the derivative of sine u is equal to cosine u derivative of u now here we have y equals so that is cosine 2x so that is squared plus sine 3x now some of the students are really confused here so because they are not using the proper process or methodology, yung method of solving differential calculus. Here, we have y equal. So, ito guys, gagamitin na natin siya ng power formula. So, from the power formula, you have the derivative of u raised to n equal. So, you have n u raised to n minus 1 du. You have here, so the derivative of y, so dy equals yung derivative ng cosine 
2x that is squared plus derivative of sine 3x. Now here, the derivative of this, so this is in the form u raised to n. So ang u natin dito is cosine 2x. Now, so you have n, so that is 2. Then copy cosine 2x. So 2, you have here u. So u is cosine 2x. Then, you have here, so exponent, so n minus 1, 2 minus 1, so 1. Then u natin is cosine 2x. So ang derivative ng cosine 2x is, you have negative sine 2x. Then, i-differentiate natin yung nasa loob. So that is 2 dx. So ganun guys yung tamang method of differentiation. So galing ka sa labas, pupunta ka sa loob. So lahat yun kailangan. So yun ang mga kadalasang error ng student. So here, we have plus so, derivative of sin 3x, so that is cosine 3x. Then, yung nasa loob, so that is 3x. Yan yung u natin if we are dealing with this formula. So, the derivative of 3x is 3 dx. So, now, yun, tama na yung differentiation natin. So, you need to actually use those four steps. So, because those four steps are really important. So, last step guys is to simplify. So, dy. So, we divide natin guys both sides by dx. So, with respect to x na siya. So, dy with respect to x equals we have negative 4. We have cosine 2x sine 2x plus 3 cosine 3x. That is our derivative. Ito guys, pwede pa natin siyang ma-simplify. So, this is a trigonometric identity. So, for the identity, you have sine 2a, we have here sine 2a. So, that is, let's say, theta na lang, theta. So, that is 2 cosine theta sine theta. You have here sine cosine 2x and sine 2x. So, we have here negative uh, 2, i-factor out natin yung 4. So, negative 2 times 2 cosine 2x. Then, sine 2x. So, plus 3 cosine 3x. Now, here we have, so yung theta natin guys is 2x. So, therefore, so magiging cos, uh, sine 2 times 2. Diba? So, magiging negative 2 times, so ibalik natin dito yung angle natin here is 2x but here, ibabalik natin siya in this form, so sine 2 times so yung theta natin here is 2x so plus 3 cosine 3x so you have your negative 2 sine 4x plus 3 cosine 3x. So now guys, kaltek tayo. How can we make sure that this is the right answer? Now, let's go to our, so, parehas lang guys. So, ang function natin is, so, the derivative of, so you have cosine squared. So, cosine squared 2x. So, input lang natin dito. Cosine, you have 2 alpha x. So, that is squared. Then, plus sine 3x. So, input natin yung original here. Kung ano yung original guys, yun din yung naka-input dito. So, derivative. Then, input tayo ng value. Then, make sure na naka-radian mode siya. So, shift mode. So, radian 4. Shift mode radian. So, that is 4. Then, lagay tayo ng value, let's say 5. Here guys, we have negative 4.1. So, i-shift store natin. Shift store A. So, if sinabshoot natin yung 5 here, dapat negative 4.1 din siya. So, let's say negative 2. Yung answer natin, sine 4x plus 3 cosine 3x. So, calc natin. Then, yung sinabshoot natin is 5. 
then here you have equal. So, negative 4.1 din siya. It means that this is the correct answer. So, Caltech yun, guys. Then, we're down to our last practice problem. So, after this, guys, proceed na tayo sa normals and tangents of the curve. So, that is f of x equals, so, yung x cubed minus x minus 1 cubed, naka-grouping, then naka-raise sa 3. So, here, guys, naka-exponent siya. So, expect na ang formula ang gagamitin natin is power formula. So, second step tayo, guys. Second step is to write your formula to be used. So, let's say this is y, function of x. Now, yung formula is the derivative of u raised to n equals, you have n u raised to n minus 1 derivative of u. Now, here, ang n natin, guys, is 3. So, n is 3. Then, ang u natin is you have here, itong nasa loob. So, this is u. So, yan yung u natin here. So, u is x cubed minus x minus 1 cubed. Now, what is du? So, du is the derivative of this. So, this is power formula ulit siya. So, 3 x squared dx minus, so ito guys, power formula ulit. So, this is 3. We have x minus 1. Then, raised to, so 3 minus 1, so squared. Then, derivative ng nasa loob. Huwag kakalimutan. So, that is just dx. Then, yung last step guys is of course to substitute and simplify. So, i-substitute natin. Nakuha na natin lahat. Eh. N, u, and du. You have here dy equals, so n natin is 3, so that is n. So, all the elements must be there. So, n, we have u, you have du. So, substitute na lang. So, n is 3, you have u. So, x cubed. So, x minus 1 cubed. So, yun ang u. So, exponent natin, n minus 1. So, n is 3. So, 3 minus 1, that is 2 squared. So, squared siya. So, times du. So, du natin is ito. Substitute na lang. You have 3x squared. So, divide na natin both sides by dx, guys. So, this is dx. You have here, minus 3 times x minus 1 squared. So, times the quantity. So, yun na, guys. So, this is our final answer. So, ganun lang, guys, yung pag differentiate. So, itong 3, pwede natin ilabas, no? So, we have here 3. So, 3 times 3, that is 9 that is 9, pwede pa siyang masimplify. So, let's say ito na yung answer natin. But pwede pa siyang masimplify. So, you have here 3. So, ilabas ng 3. So, 3 times 3, 9 siya. So, ilabas natin yung 3. So, here 3. So, 3 times 3. So, this is 9. So, that's it guys. So, practice lang ng practice mag-differentiate guys. So, ma-master nyo din yan. So, huwag nyo lang kalimutan yung 4 easy step. First step, simplify your original function. Second step is to identify the formula to be used. Third step is perform natin yung formula. Kuhin natin lahat ng elements. Then, last step is to substitute and simplify. So, yun guys, yung four steps of differentiating. So, i-master natin siya guys. So, see you guys and God bless you.